I'm starting with a new artboard sized at 1920 by 1080 pixels. Use the keyboard shortcut T to bring up the text tool. You'll notice there's a circle on the text box. If you click and drag this, this will scale your text proportionately. Use the align tools to center your text vertically and horizontally within the artboard. Select the artboard by clicking on the artboard name, in this instance, artboard underscore one. Go over to fill under the appearance panel, click and move the sliders around to change the color. The first slider changes the hue and the second adjusts the opacity. Next, select the text and do the same and choose a color. You'll want to copy the hex code for the next step. With your text box selected, under the Effects panel, check the box to enable the drop shadow. Click on this checkerboard rectangle to change the fill color. Paste the hex code you just copied. This way, the drop shadow will match your text color. Use the second slider to adjust the opacity. I'm using 70%. When you change the number for the x-axis, you will be adjusting your drop shadow horizontally to the right or left. Use the arrow keys to increase this number. The y-axis will adjust the drop shadow vertically. I'm using 18 for both the x and y axis. The B stands for blur. Increase this number to create a more subtle blur or decrease it to create a harsher blur. In this example, I went with 85. And that's all there is to creating this glow effect. You can apply it not only to text, but shapes as well. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out some of these other ones I've created.